Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm super glad that you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget that I offer free trial lessons on my website and other very interesting courses for you. In today's episode, we're going to talk about reading techniques. These can be very useful, especially when we talk about taking exams like TOEFL, IELTS or Cambridge. You can find different reading techniques and there are many of them. I'm going to focus on three of them. The first reading technique is called scanning. Scanning is great because you're scanning the text, like literally scanning it for certain keywords, expressions or topics that you need to know about. So here you really need to read the questions first before reading the text because you need to know what you're looking for. The second technique is called skimming. By using this technique, you go through the text only reading the titles or the first and last sentence of the paragraph and you will get the general idea of the text. It's a great technique because it's fast and you get the general idea of the text but on the other hand, you will lose some details that you might need. The last reading technique is the detailed reading. It's the all or nothing. So you really go through the text in detail and you want to know everything about it. You might notice that you need longer to get through the text, but it will help you to get all the details and to answer all the questions. I decided to give you a hands-on example with the TOEFL exam preparation book and I found a reading comprehension about the Rocky Mountains, which is awesome because I live close to the Rocky Mountains. I can look outside of my window and I see them. So this is just a total awesome coincidence. In case your exam is not on a computer, you need markers. These are so essential for reading comprehensions because you can highlight everything you need and it will help you when you go back and forth from the text to the questions and from the questions back to the text to find the highlighted parts that will help you find the answer. Of course, there are test centers that have their tests on a computer, but I would still recommend you to take a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil where you can take notes and this is going to make it easier for you. However, it doesn't matter if you're in front of a computer or you have a piece of paper in front of you, it's the same process. And I'll try to show it to you. So you see you have a reading about the Rocky Mountains, you have 10 questions. On the next page you have more questions. So the first step is to look at all the questions. You have to study the questions and you have to find out what they want to know from you. This is the time where you use the marker. And I would not recommend to highlight like everything. That's not the point of it, but just to highlight important words. For example, in question three, they talk about the types of rocks. So I highlight the types of rocks. This helps me to remind myself, okay, in the text, I have to watch out for types of rocks and see when they mention it. So you go through all of the questions and you highlight it. And then the second step is to read the text. Having the text on the one side and the questions on the other is a perfect scenario because now you can go back and forth and study your highlighted parts and see if you can find them in the text. This is called scanning. Of course, you can also skim the text by reading the first and last sentence of each paragraph. And this also gives you an idea where to look for the highlighted parts. There might be some tricky questions, so you might go back and read in detail. And this is how you combine all the three reading techniques. Okay, I will summarize it. First, you read the questions and the answers. You take your marker, you highlight all the important parts, and then you go back to your text and try to find everything you need. So you scan it, you skim it. If something is not clear, you go back and read it in detail. This is my recommendation. I hope that you can use it and I hope that this will help you. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video 
and I hope to see you soon.